welcome back to another video on the channel today i'm going to be showing what i've been doing on the no hitch profile as well as making a ton of progress and uh, hopefully getting us up to speed with everything that's going going on so uh to start off with there is now a cane farm i just saw this today uh shield has been an absolute madman and uh working through all of this that is ridiculous so I'm, gonna, I'm planning to do a stream at some point, probably the day I'm recording this, uh, where I'm going to go and farm some canes, so that definitely come and check that out. I'm going to be making a lot of money from that. And uh, also, I wanted to sell all the stuff in my inventory currently so I can get a bunch of uh, stuff. So, yeah, the thing is, we got a grappling hook uh, from String Collection, which is very awesome, uh, as we just put a super compactor in one of the, uh, in the uh, spider minion and got that nice and easily. And now we're going for the aspect of the end collection, even though I've got I've got Ender Pearl five without actually killing an Enderman, and I don't have Combat twelve yet. So that is a definitely thing we need to get done today. Um, but yeah, right. Let's sell all these presents now. Last time I checked, these are going to go for a lot, a lot of coins. Now this is probably the definitely the best way to make money in the early game because if you just look at look at what I just did, I just made one one million coins basically just by doing that. That was easy. Like, there was literally no thing. Now, what I want to spend this money on is that uh, I think I might go for a personal compactor. Now, obviously, that is quite difficult to get. Um, I might save up some of the redstone myself, but, but most of it will probably buy from the bazaar. And uh, we need a super compactor as well to do that. Uh, I think I'll just, for now, I'm just going to put this money away so we can use it in a minute. But yeah, the plan is to try and get combat 12. Now, to do that, I think I'm going to grind some mobs in the deep caverns because I've actually had more success with that than grinding crypt ghouls currently. I think. Um, I'm not sure what the actual best way is. And currently the bestiary isn't, uh, apparently I can't leave, so I'll just go to a uh, private hub and grind some cripples, I guess. But um, yeah, the reason I can't do the bestiary thing is because currently you don't get very much combat XP from leveling this thing up. Uh, I need to get to a like, milestone like 6 or 7 maybe, before I start getting like hundreds of thousands of combat XP. Uh, so yeah. Right, I think that, was that a random hub or a small... Oh, there we go. Okay. Right, let's get into a time lapse of me uh, getting to Combat 12, hopefully. Alright, so in that time lapse, I just hit the uh, Combat 12 milestone, and we can now, uh, obviously we can go to the end now, which I will do in a minute, but we uh, need to get a personal compactor. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because it's very difficult to farm without uh, one of these, and we just made a full sugarcane layer, and a shield is hard at work on the rest of the layers, as we speak, probably. Um, so yeah, we need to spend basically most of the money we made from those presents, uh, getting some more redstone blocks, and then we can... I think it's seven, isn't it? Yeah. And then we can make this thing personal compact to 4,000. There we go. Very awesome. All right, let's get into probably me either farming or going to the end. All right, now that we have a personal compactor in combat 12, uh, there's a few things I wanted to do. Now, the first one is uh, trying to get to the end. Now, I haven't actually, I don't think I've actually been to the Basing Fortress, so I might just, I might just walk there myself. Um, but yeah, the, the, the plan is basically to try and start Hopefully, almost one shotting Enderman. Probably won't. Probably be about two shot at the moment. I did brew some crit three pots, which should be very useful, and uh, we can get that going nice and quickly. Hopefully, so yeah. The, the the only things I need now are just a few more talismans, and uh, then eventually I can start working my art to one hitting zealots. And uh, as soon as I get aspect of the end strong dragon armor, I should be able to deal fourteen thousand ish damage uh, with some good talismans. That should be easy enough. Now, yeah. 
So that is basically the plan. I'll be back with you when I'm at the end. Alright, I'm in the end, and uh, first thing I want to do is obviously I'm going to do a damage test. Now, uh, I'm going to pop a crit pot, and then we can try and hit one of these endermen. I don't think we'll want it. I think we should do... What? Oh, I'm using the... <laughs> I wasn't using my Raider's Axe. I was using a random axe, so 3.3k damage. Now that is mostly because of the uh, Ender Slayer 5, which is very useful. I think you can get Ender Slayer 6, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, we do 3.9k, so only a few more talismans and I'll be able to do it. Jesus, they do a lot of damage. Um, and also, we need to get these, these guys grinding, because the only way we can get Ender Armor is by uh, doing it like this. So yeah, there's also a race up here I would like to try. I don't know if I'll get a, any decent time on it or not, because uh, it might be a bit difficult to complete. But I'll give that a go and uh, I'll show you the results, I guess. Right, that was my first attempt. Um, it was pretty decent actually. We did quite well. Uh, but I think I need to get it down. Obviously, I need an aspect of the end probably in high manner. Uh, but silent pearls might be useful. I don't think it would actually do too much because the uh, the thing is you can't actually pearl very easily around these places. Maybe you could get a faster time. Probably could get it down to about forty five seconds. I don't think I could get the talisman though just yet. Oh no, <laughs> I thought I was gonna die there. Um, so yeah. Uh, I just need to start working my way down the uh, thing, and uh, my plan for this one is to try and actually get like top 3 damage on a dragon at some point, because I've never really done that before, I never got into dragons, and uh, I think getting obviously an Ender Slayer 6 bit would be nice, and also Dragon Hunter. Now, it's a million coins of Dragon Hunter 1, uh, so uh, I don't know the maths, but that would be like 4 for Dragon Hunter 3, I think that was, would be as high as I'd go probably, because uh, any more than that it gets a bit ridiculous. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. I think dragons are gonna be a big part of this series because we need to get an aspect of the dragons. You obviously just you need to do that, and uh, obviously also dungeons might be a good big part as well. So that's gonna be very cool. Trying to grind dungeons without actually buying any sets is gonna be really really weird. So yeah, that that is. I'm really excited for the rest of this series. Now uh, back on the island, everything's pretty much the same. Uh, we still got shield just working on all of these farms ridiculously. Uh, and uh, probably by the next episode, we will have two layers of cane. That is the rate he's going right now. Uh, it's insane. So if you can't keep up with building farms that quickly, just uh, slowly work on it and uh, try and get yourself some layers of cane. Now, I think we're going for two and a half of cane and then some pumpkins so we can get uh, farmer boots for each other. Um, and then, yeah, that, that should be pretty good. And uh, that should be all we need. So, yeah, Enderman minions are for the aspect of the end, a uh, thing I've said before. And uh, yeah, that's basically what's going on. So I uh, hope you did enjoy this episode, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.